Lovely. Phone's going off again. Hello everyone, Drew here for Drew at Underground Games, live on Twitch. If you're seeing this on YouTube in a few days, welcome to Drew at Underground Gaming on YouTube. Another text message to read. Hey Chunk, back to do the Dungar business like I said previously. Ultimately I decided just to go back into the adventures of Drew Heartfire here. So as we were going to do the Dungard business, as I said previously. But when last we left off, Mrs. Heartfire Sophia was wearing some different armor. I, off stream, decided to make some leather armor for her. And I made some uh, elven silver armor for myself. So, with that in mind, We gotta make our way to Fort Dongard, which is south of Riften. And here's my coffee that I was talking about before. For a second there, Sophia didn't have her clothes on. So Sophia was giving us a little flash there, apparently. Lone travelers can find these woods a little treacherous. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. I don't give a shit. I fast traveled here, dude. Let me remind myself of what spell I have active here. I don't have a destruction one, so what was I doing? I don't have anything active. Okay. Why don't I have that even favorited? Anyway. He, uh, well, at least healing was in the other hand. Who the fuck are you? The master has gone, but Dervenin will find him. Dervenin should not have gone. Um, okay. I was wondering why I was hearing more than just Sophia's footsteps behind me. I guess... I don't know how I feel about Dervenin being gone. Not that I know who that is, not not that I even care. Who the fuck are you anyway, lady? Vacation is where the head is. That is what Dervenin told us about our master. 
He's cozy in his solitude. Okay. Great. I'm glad your master is happy in wh wherever the fuck he is. Moving on. That was weird. I don't recall seeing that before. There are dragons about, Traveler. Be warned. I know. I was at Helgen. We've seen them too. We lost our home, our livestock. We barely have enough gold to get by. Here, ha have five gold then. Thank you, Traveler. Be safe, and don't forget to keep an eye on the sky. Well, I'm dragonborn, so not that I really care. I'm just gonna steal their soul anyway. Peter Cottontail hopping down the bunny trail here. Do we make our way in here? But well, let me take the mask off for now. I wonder, what's the carry weight like? 718. Yeah, we should have put some shit away at home. We'll probably do that right after we talk to the Dawn Guard here. Make a stop at home to put some stuff away and say hi to the kids. Oh hey there. You here to join the Dawn Guard too? Truth is, I uh, I'm a little nervous. I've never done anything like this before. I can tell your face is green. Hey, uh, don't tell Isran I was afraid to meet him by myself. Not the best first impression for a new vampire hunter, I guess. You look afraid. You look like you're about to throw up, dude. With your face being that green and all. I guess this guy is a fanboy of the Dawn Guard, then, apparently. You've probably killed lots of vampires, huh? I'm sure Isran will sign you right up. And I'm not sure he'll take me. I hope so. Must be it. Fort Dawn Guard. Wow. Bigger than I expected. Looks like you started building a fence. I want your honest opinion. What do you think about my boobs? I mean, do they now? look right size to you? Hey, stop looking at me like that, you pervert! I guess this is it. Wish me luck. Uh, good luck, kid. New recruits. Hmm. Isran will decide if you've got what it takes. Go on, 
He's right inside. Everyone's face is green. It's like they're all fucking sick. Vigilants are under attack everywhere. The vampires are much more dangerous than we believed. And now you want to come running to safety with the Dawn Guard, is that it? I remember Keeper Kossep telling me repeatedly that Fort Dawn Guard is a crumbling ruin, not worth the expense and manpower to repair. And now that you've stirred up the vampires against you, you come begging for my protection. Isra, Kossep is dead. The Hall of the Vigilance, everyone, they're all dead. You were right, we were wrong. Isn't that enough for you? Yes, well, I never wanted any of this to happen. I tried to warn all of you. I am sorry, you know. So who are you? What do you want? I'm here to join you. Got a fire in your belly to kill vampires, eh? Good for you. But look around. There's really not much to join yet. I've only just started rebuilding the order. What can I do to help you then, Ezron? I need someone out in the field taking a fight to the damn vampires. While we're getting the fort back into shape. Tolan was telling me about some cave the vigilants were poking around in. Seemed to think it was related to these recent vampire attacks. Tolan, tell him about, what was it? Dim Hollow. Yes, that's it. Dim Hollow Crypt. Brother Adelwald was sure it held some long-lost vampire artifact of some kind. We didn't listen to him any more than we did Isram. He was at the hall when it was attacked. That's good enough for me. Go see what the vampires were looking for in this Dim Hollow Crypt. With any luck, they'll still be there. Here, you should take a crossbow. Good for taking out those fiends before they get close. Feel free to poke around the fort and take what you need. There isn't much yet, but you're welcome to anything you can use. I'll meet you at Dim Hollow. Is it just me, or does it sound a little inappropriate when the guards tell people to stop lollygagging? That's a good idea. You vigilants were never trained. I know what you think of us. You think we're soft, that we're cowards. You think our deaths proved our weakness. Stendar granted you do not have to face the same test and be found wanting. I'm going to Dim Hollow Crypt. Perhaps I can be of some small assistance to you. You there, boy. Stop skulking in the shadows and step up here. What's your name? I I'm, uh... My name is Agmir, sir. Do I look like a sir to you, boy? I'm not a soldier, and you're not joining the army. Yes, sir. E Isra. Didn't I tell you to step forward? Hm. Farm boy, huh? What's your weapon? My weapon? I mostly just use my paw's axe when wolves are attacking the goats or something. My paw's axe. <laughs> Stand up, preserve us. Don't worry. I think we can make a dawn guard out of you. Here, take this crossbow. Let's see how you shoot. A uh, crossbow? I've yes, never... Yes, a crossbow. Alright, we're gonna try to use the dawn guard crossbow here. Oh, wait, we can disenchant that. Where is our crossbow that he gave us? Oh, here it is. This thing for killing vampires. Let's take a few shots at those crates. Let's just take a look around the fort before we leave. Oh, hey. We need some steel ingots for that. Yeah, we're gonna have to head home to fix up this crossbow.
Here's a smelter. Can we smelt anything down here? Or is there anything that we would be smelting down? Nope. Not on us. I got plenty of steel at home, though. So what's in this chest? 55 gold, alright. Yeah, I'll leave that gold there for ease run. Try it again. Yeah, we're gonna be going up there at a later time. Let's just head out. Home, make this crossbow a little bit better. Thanks, I guess. Do you know what I love to do when I have a little too much spare gold? <laughs> Find a beggar and pay them to harass people. They are so desperate for money that they will do almost anything. It can be very entertaining to watch. Mm. Dim Hollow is... Oh, we've already been by there. So I can just fast travel there then, after we get done. Uh, where the fuck do I live again? Oh, right. I live right here. Actually, that's not far away from Dim Hollow, actually. Alright. <clears throat> hey, kids. Hey, Sophie. I think I put my steel in the basement. But then again, I might have put it here. I just need one steel ingot. Okay, I have three. Yeah, I just need the one. That reminds me, should head back inside when I'm done fixing this shit to put some stuff away. T then uh, go sledding with your brother, then, kiddo. Uh, over here. Grindstone. There we go. Now that does 53 damage. Let's see what we can disenchant here. And if I can't disenchant anything, then I'll just put stuff away. Okay, I can't disenchant that because I already know that. Yep, it's just a matter of putting stuff away. Down in the storage room. Dawnbreaker. Mm. I'm only going to keep that around in case I need that if any dragons attack. But this does more damage than Dawnbreaker. I don't need the fishing rod with me. I don't need that. Yeah, 
yeah, I do have a pickaxe. Okay, good. Yeah, I think that ought to be fine for that. Did I... What was I putting in here? Armor and stuff, okay. I don't need that. Don't need to bring a gold ring with me. Illusion spells cost less. Sneaking is 20% better. Yeah. I'll just wear this ring, but I'm obviously keeping my wedding ring with me. What's carry weight now? 600. Hmm. Oh, wait, I should bring those with me. A potion of cure disease and whatnot. Cure poison, should probably bring that with. That helps a little. I bet I probably got a bit of miscellaneous stuff here. Yeah, I'll grab that when I need that later. That's a quest item. And these are quest items as well, then. Let's put... Oh, wait, I was putting potions in there. Books down here. Books and scrolls. Okay, yeah, there's just quest stuff there. Apparently got a loot in here. I assume everything that I have is all food. No. It's mostly ingredients that's weighing me down. Okay, so. I will put my ingredients and shit over here.
Yeah, now we're down to under 200 pounds. We're down around 200 pounds. 282, that's perfect. Now we're ready to go do some shit. So, you like using just one hand for your weapon? I always thought you had good wrist action. But then again, most men do. Especially if they happen to be single. You do remember that we're married, right, Sophia? And our kids are right behind you. Hey. Hey, kiddos. Dim Hollow. I wonder how many bolts do I have for this thing? Forty-five bolts. Steel ones. Alright. Hey, there's a standing stone nearby. And some ore here. That standing stone is part of the Breton quest line to uncover the past and whatnot. Let's see if let's see if we can try to get up to that standing stone. It's apparently right above us. Okay, that sucks. Okay, we can't go that way to get there. Is there another way to get there from over here? Looks like we can go up this way. Or down this way, I'm not sure. Yeah, there's no going that way to get to that standing stone. Yes, I know Dim Hollow's there. But I really want to discover this standing stone first. Looks like we can climb up this way.
we go. We did good, Sophia. Ah, there it is. It looks like we got enemies over here. You hit the stairs, Sophia. There's eight of ten. I know where one is, so like I said in a previous stream, I want to save that one for last. The one that I know where it is, so once I find the second to the last one, then I'll be able to go find that last one at that point but as it currently stands let's since I got that let's head to the hollow <sighs> and get on with our dawn guard business Let's not walk into a tree. I've done that before when I was in my early 20s. And alcohol was involved. In other words, Sophia, as long as they like to have a good time, you'll 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 worship them then. These vigilants never know when to give up. I thought we'd taught them enough of a lesson of their hall. To come in here alone. A fool like all the rest of them. He fought well then. Jedi and the best off with no match for him. Ha! Those two deserve what they got. Their arrogance had become insufferable. All oh, this talk is making me thirsty. Perhaps another vigilant will wander in soon. I wish Loki would hurry it up. I have half a mind to return to the castle and tell Harkon what a fool he's entrusted this mission to. And I have half a mind to tell Loki of your disloyalty. You wouldn't dare. You know, shut up and keep on watch. Yeah, apparently no one wants to poke their head out now. everyone. Sophia, move your ass. Thank you. Now we can level up from here. <clears throat> Let's go with stamina for the moment. I'll put some perks on stuff in just a bit.
Master Vampire. We got Vampire Dust. Stop push stop pushing me, Sophia. Another vampire. Death Hound. Dog meat. Hmm. He didn't last very long. An amulet of Stendar. Silver greatsword. Interesting. I like the way that sword looks. Don't push me, Sophia. Okay. There's no way that that was the only one there. Yeah. Get out of the way, Sophia. Fuck. God damn it. That's better. There's that vampire. Anything over here? Yes, there's a dragger in a chest. With only nine gold in it. Lovely. Well, these vampires are quite poor. Yeah, and apparently you want to take everyone from behind too, Sophia. Or get taken from behind, one of the two.
enchanting table. Let's let them fight for a minute. While I sip my coffee here. That moment when you feel like you gotta sneeze but can't. That's better. I hear footsteps still, but they generally stop. There you are, fucker. Oh, S S Sophia's got him. Giant ancient Nordic sword. I'll take it. What's this here? Master Lock. <clears throat> Thanks, Chunk. Well, this ought to be interesting. the other way. Nope. Maybe further? We were close. There we go. Diedrich Mail Gauntlets. Interesting. Worth 625 gold. Staff of Revenants. Reanimate a powerful dead body to fight for you for 60 seconds. Interesting. And leather armor. Okay. No one gives a shit about leather armor. Let's see what we got over here, though. Dog meat in it. Why does a death hound have a silver ring? Every time we turn around, Sophia's just right there. Almost as if she's trying to stick something up her ass. And we catch her every single time. How, mu how much you want to bet I'm going to turn around right now and Sophia's going to be right there? Yep.
Nice try. Hmm. Cloak of Magic Suppression increases magic resistance by 20. I'll take it. Because that means my natural magic res my natural magic resistance as a Breton will only be magnified by this. Yeah, that's a pretty good looking cape there. That was a spider, apparently. That's empty. Another vampire here. Thanks for alerting the vampire to our presence, Sophia, as usual. Well, then stop pushing me. What's that? Thanks for attracting attention, Sophia, and getting in the fucking way while you're at it. Critical strike on that death hound. Anything over here of interest? Some potions. Excuse me, seven gold. There's a chest over here. Pushing me, Sophia. Alright. I guess he killed that giant spider in there. Clever. Now it's your turn, jackass. Good job, Sophia. A diamond. Interesting. I'll never tell you anything, vampire. I oath to Stendar. Stronger than any suffering you can inflict on me. I believe you, Vigilant. And I don't think you even know what you found here. Are you sure that was wise, Lokiel? He still might have told us something.
Well, they ended his life. I'm gonna wait till they get a little further away. There was one more out there somewhere. Here he comes from around the other way. <coughs> Possibly? Yeah, here he comes. There we go. That should be all of them. Well, obviously, no, no ancient Nord built this place. It was, it, it was ancient vampires. I'm just reading through this. If you guys, uh, when you when you guys see this on YouTube in a few days, you can pause and read through this book on your own. At that point. Okay, so this guy was trying to solve the mystery of this place, which we're about to have to do. And that guy's twitching over there. Hmm. Magic regions hundred percent faster, interesting. Nothing of interest on him. Hi, Sophia. Yes, I know you're there. Okay, so...
Well, now Dragonborn Blood is here now. So, now we are married. What are you going to do for me? Hmm, perhaps I could get you doing a bit of cooking, cleaning, that kind of stuff. What? What? You don't expect me to do that, surely? Okay. Guess that goes there. Oh, back here. Move, Sophia. Good job moving. Okay, apparently that worked. you here uh who were you uh who are you expecting someone, like me at least are you a vampire yes <sighs> why were you locked away in this That's place and I'm not totally sure if I can trust you, but if you want to know the whole story, help me get back to my family's home. Where do you need to go? My family used to live on an island to the west of Solitude. I would guess they still do. By the way, my name is Serana. Good to meet you. How long were you in Good there? Question. Hard to say. I... I can't really tell. I feel like it was a long time. Who is Skyrim's High King? That's actually a matter of debate. Oh, wonderful. A war of succession. Good to know the world didn't get boring while I was gone. Who are the contenders? The Empire supports Elisif, and there are many in Skyrim who are loyal to Ulfric. Empire? What... what empire? Vampire from Cyrodiil. Cyrodiil is the seat of an empire? I must have been gone longer than I thought. Definitely longer than we planned. Please, let's hurry. I need to get home so I can figure out what's happening. I guess she missed the rise of Raymond Cyrodiil too then, I guess. Why were you locked away I'd in there? I'd rather not get into that with you. If that's alright. I'm sorry, it's not that... It's just that I don't know who I can trust yet. Let's get to my home, and I'll have a better sense of where we all stand. Tell me about your home. It's on an island near Solitude. Hopefully we can find a boat to take us there. It's my family home. Not the most welcoming place, but depending on who's around, I'll be safe there. <clears throat> Why wouldn't you be safe there? Let's just say that my mother and father had a bit of a falling out. But don't worry, I'm not in any danger or anything like that. It'll just be more unpleasant to run into my father. Is that an Elder Scroll? Yes, it is. And it's mine. Why do you have an Elder it's Scroll? complicated. I can't really talk about it. I'm sorry. Well, let's get going. Uh, this way, I think.
right into my line of fire. Well, I, at least I get very various forms of ore from these gargoyles. We go up this way then. I reckon now might be a good time to work on magic here, so... Let's get that thing off my back. So we can save the steel bolts for other times that we may need them. There's another skeleton behind you, Serana. Serana, behind you? Those two are fighting each other now. God damn it. <laughs> Serana and Sophia apparently fucking hate each other's guts. Well, that's funny. <laughs> and they're at it again. Well, this ought to be interesting. Are you two done playing games now? Okay, it looks like they've stopped fighting now. This won't end well for you. Teach you.
Move, Sophia. A word of power in here. Good. A dragon priest is in here. of the Dragon Priest. Interesting. And Saran is raising the dead again. Hmm. Elvin... Uh... Frang? Interesting. Let's see what this word of power was. Drain vitality. Stamina. Alright. to breathe again. This weather is incredible. Alright. Are you two gonna... Okay, you have stopped fighting. Okay, good. That was fun back there. <laughs> we'll see if these two end up fighting again in the future. But for now, let's get Serana home. way out here. Out near Rimrock Burrow. I'm okay with the dark, <clears throat> but I've spent more than my share of time in the caves already. Spiders in this cave. Nearly every cave I go in is full of undesirable things. Well, uh, we're not going in there, Sophia. We're going down the mountain. We're doing the opposite of mountain climbing. We're mountain falling. Intentionally falling off the mountain. Not to be confused with Drunk 3PO falling off the beach. Which is not intentional at all. Fuck. Okay, we're in good shape then. Where is 
Serana. The whole reason for coming here. I guess we're gonna wait for Serana to catch up. Okay, there she is. Are you good, Serana? Shut up, Sophia. Show some more control than that. Once we're inside, just keep quiet for a bit. Let me take the lead. Let's get indoors or in a cave. Anywhere, just get out of this. <coughs> Dare you trespass here? Wait, Serana? Is that truly you? I cannot believe my eyes. My lord, everyone! Serana has returned. I guess I'm expected. I can't believe it. My long-lost daughter returns at last. I trust you have my Elder Scroll. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me? Yes, I have the scroll. Of course, she has the scroll. I'm delighted to see you, my daughter. Must I really say the words aloud? Ah, if only your traitor mother were here. I would let her watch this reunion before putting her head on a spike. Now tell me, who is this stranger you have brought into our home? This is my savior, the one who freed me. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Tell me, what is your name? I'm Drew Hartfire, and you are... I am Harkon, Lord of this court. By now, my daughter would have told you what we are. Yes, I'm aware that you're all vampires. Not just vampires. We are among the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim. For centuries we lived here, far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. What happens now? You have done me service and now you must be rewarded there is but one gift i can give that is equal in value to the elder scroll and my daughter i offer you my blood take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep men will tremble at your approach and you will never fear death again and if i refuse your gift you will be prey like all mortals I will spare your life <coughs> this once, but you will be banished from this hall. <coughs> still need convincing. Behold the power! This is the power that I offer. Now, make your choice.
what do you think, chat? Vampire or non vampire? Or refuse the gift? Any thoughts, chat? Because <coughs> if we become a vampire, we go down the vampire path of the Dungard business. You are prey, like all. Okay, never mind. I guess I took too long. So indecision is. Uh, also a can apparently to saying no. Well, that's fair, I guess. to get back to the dung garden and report in. Enemies nearby, that's nice. Well, let's get away from any enemies so we can actually fucking fast travel. Washes the dirt and blood away. Good. Can we fast travel now? Good. On a farm, they are always full of tools and hoes. Those hoes are a real pain to use. Never again will I do an honest day's work. All right. Why the hell is my armor not so shiny anymore? Wait, we don't go that way. Well, I'm not going to use that spell, because I'll hit too many innocent people. Ah! 
Let's use Dawnbreaker against them. should have known it was only a matter of time before they found the price we pay for openly recruiting. We'll have to step up our defenses. I don't suppose you have some good news for me. I have news, but I wouldn't call it good. Of course. Why did I suppose differently? Fine. Tell me what you know. The vampires were looking... Uh. Sorry, the vampires were looking for a woman trapped in Dim Hollow. Woman. Trapped in there? That doesn't make any sense. Who is she? More importantly, where is she? She's the daughter of a powerful vampire lord. And so you delivered her to them. They also have an Elder Scroll. They what? And you didn't stop them? You didn't secure the scroll. There were too many of them and only one of me. So they have everything they wanted. And we're left with nothing. By the divines. This couldn't get much worse. There's more than you and I can handle. So I'm going So... We have to do something. Well, of course we do. I'm old. Not stupid. We're just going to need some help. If they're bold enough to attack us here, then this may be bigger than I thought. I have good men here, but there are people I've met and worked with over the years. We need their skills, their talents, if we're going to survive this. If you can find them, we might have a chance. Where can I find these people that we need? Point, aren't you? Not like those fools in the Order. We should keep it small. Too many people and we'll draw unwanted attention to ourselves. I think we'll want Serene Gerard. Breton girl, whip smart and good with tinkering. Fascination with the Dwemer. Weapons in particular. Last I knew, she was out in the Reach. Convinced she was about to find the biggest Dwarven ruins <clears throat> yet. She'll help us? I need a little convincing. But she should. You'll also want to find Gunmar. Big brood of a Nord. Hates vampires almost as much as I do. Got it into his head years back that his experience with animals would help. Trolls in particular, from what I hear. Last I knew, he was out scouring Skyrim for more beasts to tame. Bring the two of them back here, and we can get started on coming up with a plan. Watch your back. Alright. <clears throat> One of them is up here, not far from North Wind Mind. And the other is way out here. Not far from this place. But first, let's head home. And deal with... Consolidating the weapons that we picked up and smelting a bunch of it down. And inventory management here.
And then once we've gotten these two people recruited, then I think I'll call it a, sh a night at that point. <clears throat> Let's see if we got anything else we can deal with now that we put some perks on some things. Nope, that pretty much covers all of that. Excuse me. So let's go after what's her face over here then. She's up over this hillside here. Well, that didn't take much effort for Sophia. Let's see if I can wash my armor. Hmm, doesn't look like it did much of any good. seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around have you i swear i left it right here <clears throat> do you think mud crabs might have taken it i saw one the other day wouldn't be surprised if it followed me here well, just look around will you <coughs> uh ezron asked me to find Ezra? you wants me no you must be mistaken he made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. 
I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. What the hell are you doing, he Sophia? Things to me before I left. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me. You had a falling out? Yes, that was my point. I felt it was rather clear. Look, what is it you want from me? Vampires threaten all of Skyrim, and we need your help. Vampires? Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different <clears throat> scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Well, what are they up to? They have an Elder Scroll. I, well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro from someplace. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? Here. Thank you. It's not much, but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching. Now. Where is it Isran expects me to go? Uh, we're meeting at, Fo at Fort Dongard. Ah, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. Adios. Now we head to the other fellow. Who's... Mm, somewhat near this place. I was thinking about alcohol. Of course you were, Sophia. to somehow get up there by him. I don't know why the fuck he's up in that goddamn mountain. When normally he's out by... Iverstead? Near a cave where a bear lives.
the fuck? Okay, a bunch of hunters are hunting over here. What the hell are you doing down here? You there! Hold fast! I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. <laughs> Israel needs your help. Needing someone else's help. Never thought I'd hear that. I'm afraid he's a few years too late. <clears throat> I've moved on. I have more important business to attend to. Besides, he can handle anything alone. He assured me so himself. What could he possibly need my help with? We're up against vampires. Vampires? That... well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. We're not sure, but they have an Elder Scroll. By the eight. Alright, look. I'll consider it. But I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Isran expects of me. Okay. Guess here's a cave that we're going into. <clears throat> Well, let's deal with this bear then. See what's up here. Hmm, a tree went up. Bow of the hunt. Interesting. Are we good now? Don't know how well I'd have managed by myself. You have my thanks. You've helped me. Well, so you I didn't have to do a goddamn to thing, dude. What Isran wants. He's still at that fort near Stendar's beacon, I assume. Yes, he said to meet him at Fort Dongard. Of course he did. He's been working on that place for years now. Never lets anyone in. His own little fortress. <clears throat> well, I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll meet you there. And we will wrap up meeting at F Fort Dongard here. been busy. Sophia, get your ass in here.
got a dawn guard standing guard there. Building a gate would be helpful. sure of something here. Yep, we're good. All right, Isra. You've got us all here. Now what do you want? Hold it right there. What are you doing? Making sure you're not vampires. Can't be too careful. So welcome to Fort Dawnguard. I'm sure you've heard a bit of what we're up against. Powerful vampires, unlike anything we've seen before. And they have an Elder Scroll. If anyone is going to stand in their way, it's going to be us. This is all well and good, but do we actually know anything about what they're doing? What do we do now? We'll get to that. For now, get acquainted with the space. Soreen, you'll find room to start your tinkering on that crossbow design you've been working on. Gunmar. There's an area large enough for you to pin up some trolls. Get them armored up and ready for use. In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. Let's go have a little chat with it, shall we? Hope you're getting along with this, isn't this? It takes some getting used to. Alright, so, <clears throat> next time, we will... Have that chat with uh, with uh, Isran and the vampire that apparently showed up to talk to us. I forgot that's where I saved that last time with Sophia wearing that bikini. That was fun. It's not about how much gold you have. It's about how much of it you spend on me. Yeah. So on that note, <clears throat> let's see who's live on Twitch right now. If anybody is at all at this point. Maza's live. Hmm. Well, I guess we're raiding Maza then. Unless uh, you have any objections uh, to raiding Maza chat. That's how we're going to end this. Later, Drew. Have, yep, you too, Chunk. Like I said, we're going to end with raiding Maza. So we'll end the night by having some fun with Maza. I'll see you guys in the next one. Good night, everybody.